Hey everyone, it's Rachel. As you may know, back in November, I was traveling throughout Japan for about a month. And while I was there, I recorded a lot of video. So far, I've only uploaded one video from Japan, a video of me getting gachapon from various places throughout the country, and all of that linked in the description. So today, I thought it'd be fun to make another video to share some more of my Japan experiences with all of you. One of my favorite things about my trip to Japan was that I got to hang out with and interact with a large range of animals. The following video is a compilation of my experiences with animals in Japan. If you're a fan of animals as well, Japan has a lot of cool places you can check out, and I'll highlight some of them in this video. I hope you enjoy these following videos of me hanging out with animals in Japan, and I'll have more guitar-related videos coming out soon. Thank you for watching, and let's get into it. I'm currently in Nara Park in Nara, and I am about to feed a deer, or multiple deer, maybe many deer. There's a lot of deer here. I think there are thousands of deer, and here's a deer right here. So I guess we can actually just feed it since it's right here. Hi. Uh, let's, let's try feeding this deer. Feeding a deer. Yeah, let's, let's get a little. They seem pretty friendly. <laughs> Oh no, there's three deer now. Um, I do actually have another cracker, but if you hold out your hands, show you that you don't have any crackers. Oh, head bunny me. <laughs> okay, I, have one, I don't know if I should feed one more cracker because there's two deer here. You might get angry. Okay, one of those leaving. Let's, you can see this deer a little bit more. We have another cracker. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, it's... <laughs> oh, it's I dropped the cracker. But I got the cracker. Now I have no... Now we're still anybody. <laughs> well, that was the first deer feeding in our park. Let's slowly back away from the deer. I think we're being followed. <laughs> okay, we made our escape from the deer. <laughs> Interesting first experience with the deer. <laughs> the bowing deer of Nara. <laughs> So I'm currently on a ferry to a little known island called Funny Island or Okunoshima and this island has the remains of a poison gas plant as well as lots and lots of bunnies and there's not many people on board so let's see where we're going. So we've now reached Bunny Island and we're going to explore. There are also the remains of poison gas factories on this island, so we'll check those out as well. So I thought there would be food on Bunny Island that you could purchase to feed the rabbits, but it turns out they stopped selling food here, so we had to improvise. And we found some food that was just kind of laying around the island, just some grass. So in this bag right here, we have a bunch of rabbit food. Well, just grass, really, that we're trying to feed the rabbits. So not going entirely as planned, but it's working out okay. And not sure if we we're supposed to take this, but we're just distributing it to the rabbits, so it's probably okay. So let's go feed some more rabbits. Really 
Bring him back. <laughs> I'm petting a wild buddy. <laughs> So we've been exploring the island more, feeding a few more bunnies, and came across some ruins of poison gas plants that are on the island today. There's a few different buildings that are remnants of when this island was used for making poison gas during, uh, I believe, World War II. So it's pretty weird. There's a contrast of the bunnies and the poison gas factory ruins, and I don't know, definitely never been a place like this before. So we've been exploring off the beaten path on the island a little bit more and we ended up in this area which has a bunch of abandoned little areas. I guess it's just an abandoned building that used to be part of the poison factory and there are pipes that are rusted and dripping and feeding the bunnies, well watering the bunnies I guess. And it's pretty eerie. There's no one around and the buildings are completely abandoned and rusting and old and just a couple of bunnies in the surrounding area. So. Pretty strange. We're currently on the other side of the island after exploring Bunny Island, but we're far away from the ferry terminal and our ferry and the last ferry for today leaves in like 40 minutes, so we have to get back to the other side of the island. So I'm currently in a hedgehog cafe in Harajuku in Shibuya where you can pay for some time to interact with some cute little hedgehogs. A few of ours are kind of asleep right now, but some of them are active. We were feeding them mealworms and got a little bit more active, so playing around with the hedgehogs. I've never actually pulled a hedgehog or interacted with one before, so this is a cool opportunity. So I'm just feeding them some mealworms. A little gross, but they seem to enjoy them and rather ferociously really. So we just got out of the hedgehog cafe. It was an interesting experience. Our hedgehogs were pretty sleepy, so we didn't get to interact with them too much, but we got to hold them. They're pretty spiky, so they kind of hurt. I'm not sure I'd want one as a pet, but it was cool. It was something I'd do once, probably not necessarily again, but it was fun to do, fun to interact with hedgehogs for the first time. <laughs> 